please. So tonight we want to uh, share with you a little bit about what to expect this year. That will include the daily schedule and logistics, important calendar dates, upcoming calendar dates, professional attire, a little bit about attendance, Zoom norms, uh, the parent portal, back to school, shopping lists, uh, E3 website, where to find all sorts of wonderful things, um, academics, Ms. Strenning is going to review all of that, and then 11th grade um, learning facility. We will share with you your 11th grade team, and then a little bit about our parent think tank night, which is coming up. Doc, can I quickly interrupt? Oh, I just yeah. want to make sure I invite all the families in Spanish. Yes, yeah, please. Buenas tardes para todas las familias que nos están acompañando que necesitan la presentación en español. Les invitamos a que por favor ingresen al enlace que se ha puesto en lo que es el, la cajita del chat. Ahí va a estar un enlace nuevo para un Zoom para que pueda escuchar la presentación en español. Um, y la señora Cuperes lo acaba de poner para que vayan ahí y le hagan clic al enlace. Gracias. Okay, gracias. Thank you, um, Dean Portillo. All right, so we'll wait just a minute for any parents who need to join Dean Portillo. All right, the mission of Vision C3 Civic High is to engage, educate, and empower our learning to be passionate, caring. Caring is very important to us because if you don't care, the rest doesn't matter. Caring lifelong learners prepare for college, workforce, and life. And we say all three together because we're not just preparing our kiddos to go to college, we're preparing them to go to college so they can get to the other side, which is their profession. Uh, and then of course, we're doing all of this in an ever-changing environment in the land of COVID. All right. And if you have questions, please feel free to drop those into the chat. All right, and we will take those as we move along. Ms. Training. Hello, everybody. It's so great to see you virtually again. Welcome to your 11th grade year, class of 2022. Um, so here's the virtual learning schedule. It is linked on here and you'll also get a copy this weekend via our uh, weekly updates. It's very much the same as our spring virtual learning schedule. Um, the only real difference is Fridays. Instead of eBlock being in the afternoon, it's in the morning. So we have eBlock in the morning, we have PEL, that personalized learning, um, right after that. And then we have design thinking and college prep in the afternoon. Um, the one thing I do want to mention about our schedule is we do offer tutoring every single day besides Sundays. Um, in the afternoon after class gets out, it's from 3.30 to 4.30. And on Saturdays, we have the virtual uh, Saturday Academy like we did last year, and that is from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Oh, thank you. And you did mention tutoring from 3.30 to 4.30. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, learning options. Well, we'll all start the year online. That is 100% of us. We will start on August 31st. We're all back to school on the 31st online at 8.30 a.m. Links will be going out to you. Uh, if you haven't already received those links, they'll be coming out within the next day or so. All of our scholars can access their, um, their schedules online in the web portal and Mr. Russell is gonna talk a little bit about that. Uh, but online 100% starting on August 31st, we do start at 8.30 and you just saw the schedule. Um, we will have two options in the future and that future looks like it will be starting the week of September 21st. And so we've sent home the surveys already. If you haven't completed that survey, it's also included here. So please complete the survey. And this is the survey to say if you want to be um, online 100% or face-to-face 100% once we can come back to campus, okay? Uh, professional attire on camera will be just the E3 shirt. I'm in my bridge shirt today, but we have the E3 attire shirt um, during, once we go back online next week, and then Thai Tuesday. I don't want to get into that too much because this is Dean Bowden's area, and he'll talk more about that a little later, uh, and also the online school. Okay, calendar and important events, their dates. First day of school for everyone, 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 everyone is August 31st. 
asynchronous instruction. That means uh, we will be with you throughout the entire time, but we won't be teaching the entire time. We hope to have more um, voice and choice so that you uh, have time to talk to your peers more, do more presentations, uh, things like that. So less chit chat from us, particularly in history and um, English classes and more opportunities for you to work together and present. Progress reports, the first reporting period, believe it or not, will be uh, October 2nd. So that's the first five weeks coming really quickly. And then student-led conferences, our fall student-led conferences, when you hear from your scholars, the week of um, November 16th. Okay. Upcoming 11th grade parent meetings, Ms. Drenning. Yes, just like last year, ninth grade, we do offer a series of parent institutes for grade levels. Our first one for our 11th grade parent meeting is February 4th. It's really right before all that fun testing happens, so we definitely want to talk with you a little bit more about that. Um, and it's just 11th grade preparation testing information. We also wanted to invite you to our community college workshop. We usually have that in the spring. It's a Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. All of our wonderful community colleges come out to the school, or last year we had that virtually, but we had breakouts and it was wonderful. Um, so you can learn a little bit more about those co uh, community colleges. You can learn about their dual enrollment options. So there's a lot of great information that you can get from that. And then we have a May meeting for you, and that's basically preparing for your senior year. That is going to be on Thursday, May 6th at 5 p.m. And we just go through a lot of information of things that you can do over the summer to start preparing for your senior year. And Definitely, 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 please reach out to your counselor to uh, set up a meeting to discuss courses, college, careers, aspirations, or anything like that. We'd love to meet with you to make sure that we have a steady uh, set plan in place and we can answer any of those questions. All right, and then I'm gonna stop for just a quick moment here just so we can see who we have with us. Um, and come off of share, it's easier for me to do it that way, uh, just one minute. And our participants today, um, Anna Lee. Anna Lee, uh, who is Anna Lee? Anna Lee, uh, is that a mom? And then who is your child? Oh, my name is Anna Lee. I'm a B student. Are you a new student? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't know an Anna Lee, so it must be. <laughs> Okay, so Emily, welcome to E3. Where are you coming from? Thank you. Okay, welcome, Emily. Where are you coming from? From Ingenuity. Okay, well, welcome. Welcome to E3. All right. And next we have uh, Cameron. Yes. Where's Cameron? Right here. Okay, and who is your child? Annabella Morales. Annabella, okay, and Annabella, Annabella, Annabella was there last year? No. Oh, okay, no. she's not sounding familiar. Okay, good. So where's Annabella coming from? Alternative Studies from Chula Vista, California. Okay, well, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. All right, Annette, Annette. Hi, Annette, where are you? Hi. And where's your brother? Is he there too? Where's Isaac? Is Isaac there? Yes? No? All right. Well, welcome. Good to see you guys. And let's see. Um, Angeli. Who's Angeli? Or Angeli? Yeah. Hi, Angeli. Oh, okay. Let me see. So, Angeli, uh, you're new to us? Yes. Okay, where are you coming from? From the school? Yeah. Uh, King Charles. Okay, well, welcome, Angeli. Is it Angeli? Angeli. Okay, good. Welcome, Angeli. Okay, and we're on to Bella. Where's Bella? Hi, I'm Teres mom. Uh, this is my other daughter's um, account. Okay, good. Um, nice to meet you. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay, we have um, 
Dilla Marias. Delilah. Oh, that's Delilah. Um, Delilah. Hello. Um, this is my sister's laptop, actually. So my name is Sophia. Oh, hi, Sophia. Welcome to E3. Thank Where you. are you coming from? Um, coming from Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Okay. Well, welcome to the mainland. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Javier. Oh, Javier. Where are you, Javier? I'm here. Hey, Javier. How are you? I'm good. Good. Great to see you. Although I can't see you. Where are you? Oh, let me turn on my camera then for a minute. Oop. All right. Good to see you, Javier. <laughs> All right. We'll see you on Monday, too. Yep. All right. Then we have Javi's iPhone. Who is that? Hi, hello. Can you hear hello. me? Uh huh. Can you hear me? Hi, how are you? I'm here with uh, with my grandma. Grandma okay. for Melanie. And who's your uh, who's your scholar? Right here. Melanie. Hi. Oh, hi, Melanie. Okay, good. Hi. Nice to see you. Okay, good. Nice to see you. All right, Cassandra. Where's Cassandra? Hi. Sandra. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right. And then we have Kurt. Where is Kurt? Hello. Hi, Kurt. Hi, family. Good Hi. to see you guys. Oh, Kurt, you got a full mustache. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> full beard. Oh my goodness. Full beard. Oh my Lord. Okay. Good to see you. All right. And Maria. There's two Marias, actually. Hi. <laughs> oh, Maria. Oh, Maria. Carlos, yes, it's me. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Carlos is not here. I, I'm, I just, I'm just texting him to, uh, to join us. Okay, excellent. Well, so he might come in in a few minutes. All right, <laughs> excellent. And uh, where is Nancy Pelosi Reyes? I'm here. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Good to see you. And we have another Maria. Who's the other Maria? Are you talking about this one? Uh huh. Hi, Miss. Uh, it's um. Jason, uh, mom. My mom, Jason. Jason, we can't see you. Oh. Hey, Jason. All right. Good to see you. And thank you. And let's see, who else do we have? Tina? Hello. Hi. Hello. And where is your daughter? Uh, right here. Right here. <laughs> How are you? Good. Yes, hi. <laughs> She's right. shy. Good to see you guys. Wow. Yes. All right. Good to see you. And then we have Josefina. Josefina? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So welcome to all of our families. We like to know who we are, uh, who's out there in the audience. And we forgot to do our greetings as well. So I am Dr. Ward, the principal and CEO. Uh, Ms. Brennan, you want to say a quick word? Sure, I'm Ms. Jenning. I'm one of the college and career counselors. It's great to see everybody in all of our new faces. Um, my caseload is M through Z, and then Ms. Cologne is class tonight, so she cannot be here, but her caseload is A through L, but any one of us can help anybody, so please come to us if you need anything at all. We're here to help. Thank you. And Mr. Smith. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mr. Smith. It seems as though we have a lot of returning scholars, which I'm so happy to see. So happy to see all you guys. Um, as you know, I'm the mental health counselor here at E3 Civic High. Um, just here to get on to the next year, 11th graders. Oh, it's getting scary. All right. Uh, Dean Bowden. Dean Bowden is in his office. I'm not sure what that background is, but he's in his E3 office. I, I am on campus and in my office, I just like to play with my virtual backgrounds. 
Um, I am glad to be back and it's glad to see um, so many returning scholars, uh, even more special to see our uh, new scholars and we welcome you to our family. Um, I'm the Dean of Scholar Support. My role is to make sure that everybody feels a strong sense of belonging, a strong sense of community, um, and feels welcome here at our school, whether it be virtual or in person. So um, as my title says as well, I'm here to support you. I am here to serve you. So welcome everyone. Thank you. And Mr. Russell. Hi everyone, Mr. Russell. So I uh, manage a lot of the technology at E3 and the student information systems. Um, I'm one part of the tech team. So my counterpart, Ms. Aria, um, also helps with technology. So if you or your scholar has issues with your laptop, power school, email, um, anything like that, you'll be likely be working with Miss Aria or I. Okay, thank you so much. And Carlos, you are on with us now. Carlos, say hello, please. Yeah, hello. My name is Carlos. Nice. Hi. All right, good to see you. Okay, I think we covered everyone. And so we will uh, continue on then where we left off with our upcoming uh, 11th grade parent meetings. Oh, we already finished that one, Dr. Ward. I talked about all the meetings. Saturday Academy, Saturday Academy. Even though we're online, we're gonna have Saturday Academy from 10 to 12, uh, it'll be virtual. And then once we're back on campus, we have Saturday Academy from nine to 12. And anyone is welcome on campus during that time. And you're even welcome uh, for our virtual meetings. And we'll be providing support in English, math, social studies, and science, okay, from 10 to 12 on Saturdays. And those links will go out on Friday evenings so that you know how to join us on Saturday. All right, Parent Collaborative, Mr. Smith, take it away, please. All right, so it's good to have everyone back and it's good to know that a lot of the parents that are here tonight are um, putting in that extra work to learn as much as we can. But um, as you may have known um, in the past, the Parent Collaborative, we meet from 10 to 11, talking to the parents about the experiences that they're gonna have. Next button. So this experience is like what you've probably experienced before. Um, we go to Disneyland, a lot of nice rides, everybody's easy. We can get on like small world and have a good time. But now we're getting to the 11th grade. So this is starting to get on those big roller coasters. So a lot of the things that are gonna be coming up with your scholars this year are gonna be very, very intense with uh, SAT testing and things of that nature. There's gonna require a lot more. So we wanna equip not only the scholars with the help, but we wanna equip the parents. So the next part of identifying what we do with the parents is talking about how um, their attachment styles or how their parenting styles are. Not to tell you if you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong, but it's just to identify how this experience goes with our kids. And it's just additional support because they're, they're gonna go through things and you're gonna process through things. So it's just another um, time when the parents can come together and we meet and then talking about things that are going on in their heads. So this is the part where it starts to get a little bit different and a little bit more complicated, but if we provide them with that um, support, um, we, can, we can actually have the best students possible. So um, just wanna invite everyone to, be, um, to know that it's gonna happen on Saturday from 10 to 11 as usual, and it'll be virtual, so you'll get the emails. We'll send those out through Parent Square, um, and as well as additional support. We don't just help the kids and families that are here, but we have additional supports with regards to like food or um, supplies or just any of those things are additional resources. And that's what the parents do when they come together. We live in a community where we look out for each other. And this is where we get our, um, our strength. Thank you. All right, the weekly updates. So the weekly updates, uh, that's a primary way that we communicate with you. And those weekly updates will be coming to you every Saturday at 12 noon. And then again at 5 p.m. At 12 noon, you'll get a phone call with what are the weekly, with the weekly updates. And then at 5 p.m., you'll get the email. And in the email will also be attachments of things that you should be um, completing or aware of. So the first set of attachments coming home will be the virtual schedule, the, um, oh my goodness, I lost my notes. It's the virtual schedule that comes home this weekend. Um, calendar. The, the calendar, thank you so much. The, the annual calendar with air, all the dates for the year. And then there's a third thing. Does anybody remember the third thing that goes home? 
All right, and then the surveys, you'll get one more time the, um, your scholar choice for either virtual or online. Okay, so on Saturday in the afternoon, you'll receive the email with three attachments. Okay, and then if you're not receiving those attachments or the, the, um, the weekly updates in general, contact your counselor or you can call the front desk. All right, on to professional attire, Dean Bowden. All right, um, yes, professional attire. Uh, we will be following the guidelines that we have set before, um, but if you are online, you will only be required to wear the white collared shirt or the white polo shirt. With the exception of Tuesdays, which is gonna be tie Tuesday, um, online and in person. So you'll have to have um, your, your tie on whether you're at school or online for Tuesdays. Um, if you are coming to school in person, the uh, same attire policy we've had in the past will apply. Um, so it's a matter of wearing uh, the white polo shirt and khaki bottoms or new as of the end of the year last year, navy pants um, and then you, or khaki skirts or plaid skirts. Um, additionally, uh, a, a, something that was added last year as well was uh, E3 beanies. So you can wear your nice little um, cap, uh, whether you're online or in person. Um, the schedule that we have, the next slide, Dr. Ward. Um, so every day of the week, you're gonna be wearing professional attire, except for on Tuesdays, Tie Tuesday. And then Thursday is the day that um, we encourage people to wear college shirts, club shirts, military brand shirts, um, or your summer bridge shirts that you got now three years ago. However, we recognize that incoming scholars most likely don't have a tire yet. And, uh, but we also wanna kick off the school year in grand fashion and we're gonna have spirit week, which means for the first week of school, um, you can uh, follow these guidelines um, to get dressed. We won't have tie Tuesday, we won't have uh, or you can still wear a tie on Tuesday or college shirt on Thursday, but you can also dress in spirit. Uh, Monday, August 31st, dress as your favorite role model. Um, for me, I'd be dressing like my dad. Mm -hmm. So on uh, Tuesday, September 1, wear something with stars or stripes. Wednesday, wear red, white, or blue. Thursday, wear school colors, green, blue, or white, or your class shirts, your... Um, uh, class colors. And then, uh, and for you guys is navy blue. So Friday, September 4th, dress as your future career. You know, if you come dressed as Mr. Bowden, they say, they say imitation is the best form of flattery. So thank you. And I understand. Okay. All right. So that's Spirit Week and on to attendance. Dean Bowden, you want to continue with? That? Yes. Hey, we want to make sure that um, people are attending school, uh, especially when we have the synchronous sessions going on virtually um, or if it's in person. And why? Because we want to see you be successful. Um, I, I, I think uh, uh, it's it also in this online community, it's tough when we are separated from each other. So it's a way of bringing everybody together. We can see each other. We can communicate with each other. Um, and so regular attendance is very important. It adds that sense of normalcy and it creates a strong community. The attendance policy is the same. If you miss more than 10% of school, you will be considered chronically absent. Additionally, if you miss more than 30 minutes of instruction without an excuse, three times, only three times during the school year, you are considered truant. And in each one of those situations, you get a nice little letter from Mr. Bowden um, and then we meet, so helpfully figure out what are the barriers preventing your child um, from attending school regularly and how we can support and, um, you and address those issues. Um, we also have an independent study contract, which is a way to receive your assignments digitally if you're not able to attend a class for a period of time. Um, and to set that up, you just need to contact um, Ms. Rivas and, uh, she'll get that filled out for you. And we will have the independent, we'll have the universal independent, independent study contract and that will be going out when? 
I, is, is that the third attachment? Yeah, okay. I, I messaged you. I was like, I think she means this. That's the All third. Right. All right. So once you fill out the independent study contract one time, then it stays in your um, file. And then you just have to call it and say that you'll be out that day and we'll set up the independent study contract, right, for that day. Um, Dean Bowden, the other thing about attendance is for our 11th graders, even though we're gonna be online this year, this is your heaviest year, I just want you to know. And the, the state has already transitioned into the online way of thinking. It took everybody by surprise, except for E3, but um, uh, they're coming up to speed rapidly. So the CAS assessments will still be happening this year. Your SAT tests uh, will be happening this year. Your PSAT, all of those things are coming down the pipe. Uh, and I think um, Ms. Strenning is anxious to share those with you. I'm saying those things to you now though, because your attendance is so critical for your success. These next two years are no joke, okay? All right, Zoom norms. Zoom norms. So first and foremost, we want you to be present, be engaged, active listening, um, communicating with your peers, communicating with your learning facilitators. But we also want you to be visible. Um, so that would mean cameras on um, and uh, that way we can look each other in the eye while we're having conversations. Be respectful, share the air. We want people to speak up and speak out, but also allow others to do the same. Um, like I said before, be visible. It humanizes the online experience. Um, so it's very, very important to have your camera on. Um, it also, again, provides that sense of normalcy, which um, in the new normal. Uh, at home, make sure you have a little area that you can designate as a quiet space to work. I know there's a lot of distractions at home. Um, so if you can, just find a corner, uh, maybe away from some of the movement, some of the noise, uh, make sure you're sitting up, paying attention, um, and to minimize all those distractions. And most importantly, as you're shifting from summer into the school year, let's get back onto a healthy routine where we're going to bed at an appropriate time, 9, 10, 11 at the latest, but nothing into the early morning hours. All right, make sure you're unplugging those video game consoles and uh, getting a good eight hours of sleep so you can be fully engaged in class the next day. It's key to your mental health. All right, and um, you're also still growing, especially for our young men. And so if you're interested in being any taller than you are now, then that leap is going to be very important. Okay, so let's make sure. Oh, I just unmuted myself. Okay. Um, Seems like there was one more thing on the uh, Zoom norms. Um, and I, you touched on this, but again, the importance of the emotional mental health. And I know um, Mr. Smith probably wants to just say a, a few words about how important it is to see each other. Absolutely. I mean, the um, social emotional um, aspect of the world we now live in um, has, kind of taken and wreak, wreaked havoc on some people. But we know like um, being able to see someone, someone different and being able to get out is definitely something that goes through our, our mental capacity because we're all social creatures. These are just the basics of our mental health. And we have to understand being able to see people, that helps um, just as Mr. Bowden indicated as far as the sleep, that's another important aspect. And you're eating. Um, there's a number of different aspects that we seem to overlook but through this um, COVID area, COVID era, we've noticed that people are starting to suffer a lot more. And we want, and with that, we've actually um, been able to reach out to others um, with some more cl clinicians to be on site or to be able to meet with you. And our resources, as far as outside referrals, they're still absolutely free for anybody that needs it. We wanna make sure that everybody's healthy because of this um, experience that we're all going through. So we wanna make sure you do get the proper sleep, the eating habits, and then um, exercise when you can. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. um, and one last note, we will have, we have ordered for every scholar the noise canceling headphones and mics. So those will be coming as well. That doesn't have anything to do with what Mr. Smith said, which is the most important thing, right? So taking care of yourself, your mental health. Okay, moving on to the next one. Parent portal, uh, Mr. Russell. 
Hi, everyone. So just as we've had in previous years, we have the wonderful power, uh, parent portal through PowerSchool. If you haven't used it before, this is a really great way to monitor your scholars progress while they're at E3. Um, you can view their overall grades, their GPA. You can drill down to individual assignments. You can see which assignments are marked missing. Um, you can see attendance. You can see if they're late to classes throughout the day, if they arrived to school late, if they're um, absent. Um, and if you have an Android phone or an iOS phone, uh, you can download the PowerSchool Parent Portal app and uh, receive push notifications when um, like your scholar's absent or their grade changes. So it's a really great resource. Um, and if you don't have a PowerSchool, sorry, parent PowerSchool account, we will send home instructions. There's a lot of P's in that. We will send home instructions on um, how to set it up, the access code and everything that you need. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Russell, can you hang around a little bit afterward in case we have some families that uh, would like to download that and need some help? Yeah, of course. Thank you. All right. Parent Square. Also this year, we are going to roll out a new system called Parent Square. It's going to replace um, a system that we've used in the back end to do, you know, mass notification and communication. Parent Square is really going to be the hub for uh, communication and resources for uh, you and your scholars. So it's really great. It has two way communication between you and um, your scholars LFs or between your LFs and you and your scholar. There can be like a, a group conversation. Um, you will be receiving more information about Parent Square in the coming weeks. I think an email went out earlier today with an invite code and um, most parents already signed up. So um, if you have any questions about Parent Square or PowerSchool, you can send them to me in the chat or I'll stick around afterwards. Okay, my tabs are showing. Oh, my tabs are showing. Okay, thank you for telling me my tabs are showing. Okay, I'll work on that in a minute. Back to school shopping. Uh, so the back to school shopping list, we will be providing most of your um, supplies. The supplies though will not be ready until I think the second or third week of school simply because we're waiting for your noise canceling headphones to come in. And then we will put those together with all your supplies. Um, we're gonna start right away with a DT project the first Friday of school. And uh, I'm not sure if you'll need supplies for that, but by the third week of school, we'll have a bag for every scholar with the supplies that they'll need. Um, if they need paint or whatever it is, it'll be in that um, bag. And then any of your resources, including your textbooks or novels will also be there. Um, now, water bottles, when you're back on campus, you're really gonna need a water bottle, even though we have water fountain machines, we're not gonna be using those due to COVID-19. So you'll, you're gonna have to have a water bottle like Mr. Uh, Dean Bowden's over there, okay? So you're gonna need that. Uh, your backpacks, of course, and then we're looking into getting you laptop cases. I think Mr. Russell said those are coming in the third week of um, September. We hope um, they're extremely back ordered. So we're trying to get as many as we can, as quick as we can, if we get them in, in batches. Um, but we've sourced some really nice laptop cases um, that should help prevent any damage to the laptop should it fall or um, hit something. Excellent. And we also have notebooks, pens and pencils, things like that. And so um, if you want to purchase pens and pencils, please go ahead and do so. But we will have notebooks for you. Highlighters, usually everything is done online. And so we have annotations to do all of that. So you wouldn't really need that. Okay, the E3 Civic High website. Let me click on that. There we go. Oh, and there is one of our scholars that's here. <laughs> we have a star in the, in the um, audience. Uh, this is our website. It is def it's renewed, refabbed, and it looks amazing. It's very usable. Um, so if you have any questions or maybe just need a staff contact information, this is a great place to go to see if those um, resources are there. Um, if you need to buy professional attire, you can go to the school store right here and 
Dr. Ward will show you where to go for that. Student life yep. down to, let me just get my buddy. All right, student life down to the E3 student store, down to student store again, and all of the professional attire you can order online. Yeah, and there's a lot of information here um, about courses. Our course catalog is up there. All of our counseling materials, like any of our presentations that we've gone over with you are here. Um, We're going to post this presentation and this recording here um, sometime this week. The bell schedule's active. Um, and then if you go to alumni, I know some of you have reached out to me or Ms. Cologne or Ms. Carter to request a transcript. Here's a very easy way to send that request so that way Ms. Carter can get that official transcript sent to scholarships or colleges or internships that you may be looking for. So this is a great spot. Um, also a lot of information about our reopening plan um, and a bunch of resources about that. All right. Okay, there's the opening here and all of those resources. Yeah, lots of mental health resources and any financial support, upcoming events. All right. 11th grade academics. Yeah, so this is Miss Cologne in my, my wheelhouse. Um, here are our graduation requirements. Most of our 11th graders should know this by now, but I definitely want to go over this and we'll go over it again in all of our parent institutes just to make sure you understand what is exactly required for graduation. It's also linked here as well. Um, we meet or if not exceed the A through G requirements and just a brush up on that, the A through G requirements are a set of requirements that the University of California and the California State Universities put to high school students to complete to even be eligible to apply to their schools. So we want to make sure that all of our scholars are A through G eligible so that way those doors are open. They can make that decision if they want to apply to UCSD or UCLA or SDSU. Um, one thing to note about our graduation requirements, all of our courses that are required must be passed with a C or higher. So that means if you got a D or an F in a course that was required, you will have to take that over again, whether that's in class, online, um, or during summer school. So there are different opportunities to make those up, but you will have to make those courses up in order to graduate. And then another requirement that was just added um, because the UC and the CSU system are going to add that to our A through G requirements, and it's very necessary to have these days, as we can see, we're all online, is our computer science elective. Um, so most of you have taken um, exploring computer science, but if you have not, you will have the opportunity to take that this year. And we usually have the um, choice between exploring computer science and intro to Python slash intro to Java. We also have AP computer science, cybersecurity, and all those great things. So if you are thinking about a career in computer science or cybersecurity, it is booming right now, and that's an excellent career choice, and we have the classes for you. And then some things to look forward to. You are right about that age and grade that you are going to be completing all of your other graduation requirements, such as the SAT or ACT exam. For you guys, we will be having an SAT school day in the spring of next year. Um, so that is a requirement in order to graduate. And we will offer that to you for free. Um, we'll also offer a ton of uh, SAT prep throughout the school year. So make sure you take advantage of that. And then in your senior year, most of you have seen our senior presentations of learning at this point, but that's one of our favorite days because our seniors are right before they graduate and move on to the big old world, they get to present to all of us about their educational um, plan. Like what did they go through in high school? What were their favorite projects? What are their future plans? So they get to tell us all this information, and, um, hopefully teach us some things. Um, you also, during your senior year, need to complete your senior workforce development course, so that is your internship, and you'll also complete your senior design thinking course. You are all that, everybody that has attended E3 has um, a lot of experience in design thinking, so the senior design thinking course is like your capstone. This is a great opportunity for you to really delve into your interests and maybe even get some of your prototypes approved and paid for. I know a couple of our um, alumni are going through that process right now. 
And then along with that is all of your college stuff. You'll have a, um, during your senior year, you'll have a college prep course with Ms. Colon and myself to make sure that you're getting all of your um, applications completed. So it is required to submit at least one college application, if not more than that, uh, maybe five, 10, wherever you're thinking of going. You must submit your financial aid application, whether that's to FAFSA or the DREAM Act. And then you must submit at least one scholarship but we definitely recommend at least 10 scholarships because everybody likes free money, right? Um, so all of those are the requirements, we, but we are all here to help you through that process. All right, thank you. And let me just say about DT, this year the juniors will be, uh, the lead DT LF is going to be Miss Woods. And it's going to be Miss Woods because some of you will be doing two year DT projects. And so she'll be beginning, she'll be helping you start those projects this year, and they'll be going into next year. Kurt, who is also here, he did a summer DT project. On the, they created a business, actually. They were looking at the social unrest in uh, the United States and actually around the world with the Black Lives Matter movement, and they wanted to get involved, but they uh, didn't necessarily want to go out and protests. So they were thinking, well, how can we uh, participate in the Black Lives Matter movement without having to protest? And so after some brainstorming and thinking about it, they came up with a clothesline. And so now they're working with a, a, a company um, to, they're working on their logo and their trademark, and then they're going to be meeting with someone on their uh, website. So Kurt, I just spoke to someone today. Her name is Laura Gambini, and she's going to be reaching out to you guys. I think Daphne's already talking to her about your um, the next steps. And their clothes will be online. We'll be selling those through our student store as well. So you'll have an opportunity to um, purchase their, their line of clothing. And that's because of DT, and that's something that they came up with. Okay. All right. Really cool. Um, so here are your required 11th grade courses. By the 11th grade year, everybody's schedule is going to be a little bit different depending on what you need to graduate. All of your schedules are live on PowerSchool, so you can take a look at that and make sure that you can see your, your schedule and know where you're going. Um, we always have A days and B days. Everybody will have pre-AP English 5-6, and then you have the choice between um, U.S. History or AP U.S. History. Um, a lot of you have chosen to take AP US history, so that's fantastic. You'll also need math usually, so whatever level you're on, you're gonna be taking the next level. Um, physics is a lot of our big 11th grade science. However, many of you have chosen to take honors anatomy or maybe AP bio or AP chem, so that's up to you. That's what you chose during our course request in the spring. If you still need a foreign language, you'll have that. And then you have some space for elective. So maybe you're taking a VAPA or drama or choir. And then always we have an e-block. So you have chosen your e-blocks and that you are placed. I do want to let you know, I've been sending a lot of emails. We do have our, um, one of our college courses, the San Diego City College Political, Intro to Political Science 101 course. I still have a few seats left and I can't tell you enough how much how cool this class is gonna be. If everybody remembers Ms. Furlong or Ms. Pruitt, she is the, the instructor and everybody knows how excited she is about this. Um, but to take this course alongside the election, like I want to take the course and I wanna sit in. Um, she did let me know that there are no exams. It's project-based. Um, so it should be really fun with Ms. Pruitt. So if you are interested, we are having a workshop tomorrow to go through the steps because you actually have to register to City College and then there's some, um, a few other steps to do, but I can walk you through that. And we're having that workshop tomorrow at 3 p.m. And I've sent an email out today with the information and I'll send it out tomorrow morning so that way you have it fresh. If you have any questions about the course, please feel free to reach out to me. And then I know a lot of our scholars are asking, but how do I change my schedule? To request a schedule change, it's a little bit different this year. You will have the first reporting period to request a schedule change. Um, in order to do this, you must request this by filling out the schedule change request form. That will be sent out to you either tomorrow or Friday once that's ready. Um, give your counselor a few days to respond and make sure you're responding to any emails or G chats because there might be a question we have to ask if it's going to fit in or if it's going to 
make you make a choice between another class. We want to work through this with you. So make sure you respond to us as soon as we email you. Friday, October 2nd is the last day to change a course. After this date, you will receive a W on your transcript. And that simply just means withdrawal. Um, so if you do want to change your schedule, I would really highly advise to change it as soon as possible. Because if you don't, if you change it later on, you're still going to be responsible for that work through September. So I want you to make sure that you're changing it and you can still catch up to whatever it is. Um, so we will evaluate every single request. If it's possible, we will let you know either way via email or GChat. But our first priority is your graduation requirements. So we want to make sure that you have every single class you need to graduate. And then you guys are 11th graders, so most of you know all of this, but some keys to school success. Many of you, like, this is the biggest year. Many of you have AP courses, honors courses, college courses, and then you have all that testing on top of that that Dr. Ward had mentioned. So it's very important for you to be organized this year. Use a planner, use your Google Calendar. I don't know what I would do without my Google Calendar and my planner to tell me what I'm going to do throughout the day. Write a list of to-dos every day. That's what I do every single morning. What do I have to do today? And you scratch it off when you're done. And then study skills are big. Just remember, we are all here to help you. If you need help or you have a question, just ask. If you don't know who to ask, you can ask me. And if I don't know the answer, I will direct you to who knows the answer. So always let somebody know if you need something because we don't know what we don't know. So you have to make sure you let us know. Definitely set time after school for homework and studying, three to four hours a night to study, sit down, read, do your homework, and make sure everything is accomplished. And then using your tutoring and resources that are offered. We offer tutoring every afternoon um, and then on Saturdays. And we're going to offer a lot of resources, especially to our 11th grade. We are going to offer a ton of SAT prep through advisory after school on Saturdays. Make sure you attend those sessions because you it will benefit you. And then for attendance, like Mr. Or Dean Bowden said, it's really easy. Show up on time and ready to learn. That's it. It's really simple for that. And then get good grades. If you do all this, if you do the studying and you take advantage of the tutoring and the resources, those grades will follow. Hard work those grades will follow. Um, and just remember your grades matter, your testing matters for your future. So we definitely want to make sure that you are successful. And remember, we're all here to support you. So please reach out. Thank you. Okay, our 11th grade facilitators, let's see who they are. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Mr. Wang. Well, I think Scott and Scrooge uh, call me Mr. Wang. That, that would be much easier. My last, last name is pronounced Hua. Hua is a Chinese last name. So maybe not so easy for scholars to remember. So I always tell them to call me Mr. Hua. I teach math three. And last and this is my second year. Uh, last year, I only teach math three. And this year, I not only teach math three, I also teach pre k That's all. Thank you. Say what you teach one more time, Mr. Wash. I, I teach math three and also pre-calculus. This year, I start to teach pre-calculus, so I spend a lot of time preparing pre-calculus. Hi, I'm Ms. Sanders. Um, I work with the Humanities Department here, and this year I'll be teaching AP U.S. History and U.S. History, but also a unit of pre-AP world history. So I'll see you soon. Hello, my name is Judy. Well, it's Judy Long Farrell, but it says Judy Farrell on here. And I am in LA. I'm in the SPED department, so I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Hello, I am Paul Miles. Uh, I am part of the humanities department. I will be teaching English 11 pre advanced placement as well as a few sections of English 10 pre advanced placement. Uh, I look forward to seeing everyone this year. Uh, so I'll be seeing you guys soon. Hi, I'm Jordan Alcarez. The scholars call me either Miss Jordan or Miss Alcarez. I am a tutor, so I will be popping around in all subjects to mentor and to offer my assistance. I look forward to meeting you guys. 
Hello, I'm Ms. Green. Uh, I teach physics. I'm in Studio 720, and I'm in there right now. So I will look at my studio. There it is. It's where you'll be if you come in on campus. Um, I also teach aviation, so if you haven't picked an e-block, pick aviation. We're going to have lots of fun this year. Hello, my name is Javon Gaines. Uh, I will be a math tutor for you guys this year. So if you need any help, uh, you can call me. Thank you. We look forward to seeing everybody. All right, that's it. And I'm not sure why you didn't see Javon's face because we are supposed to be on camera. So he, his camera probably was not working today uh, when, when they did that, I should say. All right, but that's part of the team. So you will be seeing them. And uh, Think Tank on School Reopening, 9-3-2020 at 2 p.m. That means it's also our uh, uh, parent coffee event. So uh, coffee with the principal, although we won't have any real coffee because we're going to be virtual, but it's an opportunity for you to, to join us to share uh, some of your ideas about school reopening, and that is the physical reopening. We're gonna be sharing all of the guidelines from the state and the county, uh, the things that we have, we'll be putting in place. And then if you have some other ideas or suggestions about school reopening, or are thinking about bringing your, having your scholar on campus, then that would be a really good uh, meeting for you to attend. And that is 9-3, September 3rd, that's next Thursday at 2 p.m. And the link is also here. So, and you'll, you're gonna get this uh, slide deck so you can sign up that way. And with that, we wanna thank all of our families for your time this evening. It was great seeing our scholars. We will be hanging around for a few minutes. If you have any questions for parents who are looking to uh, make sure they're connected to the parent portal, which is really important this year as your scholars are juniors. Mr. Russell will be hanging around. Just put something in the chat and then he'll um, assist you in a breakout room with what you might need there. Okay, and this is our contact information. If you need to get a hold of us, please do. For all of our new scholars, we are very happy to have you. Welcome to the E3 family. All right, family, have a great evening. Yeah, and if anybody has any questions, you can either chat or turn off your turn on your mic and we can go ahead and answer some of those questions for you. Hi, I have a question. Um, how do we get the like I'm trying to figure out what that we're new to the back to San Diego and how do we get the school schedule? How do you get what, uh, like their school schedule? The actual her class schedule. You want that, to get a breakout room and show her how? Yeah, because I never got, I was like looking at my emails to see if I received anything. I, I don't see anything. Yeah, sure, if you want to put me in a breakout room. Okay. And then Mr. Russell, we had a um, question on how to sign up for the parent portal, if you can answer that. Yeah, I was just messaging. Okay, for parent portal, you are going to get instructions soon. So Mr. Russell will um, get that for you. I have a question about the parent square. Yeah. Um, we did not receive an email. Yeah. On I let Mr. Russell know and he is working on it. There's gonna be another notification going out tonight. Is that correct, Mr. Russell? He's trying to do a couple things. So I'm all good. All right. Just <laughs> want to make sure you. it's something very new and the yeah. school mint and there's parent square going on at the same time. So we are just like, which one are you, uh, uh, is the school using? Yeah, we're using parent square this year. School mint is more for enrollment purposes. So you don't have to worry about school mint right now. Oh, okay. And this parent square is, who is going to get on this? Is this on an iPhone only? Mr. Russell? Um, it's Android, iPhone, and there's a, a website you can use. Okay, so it can be done on the iPad too. So. Yep, and an iPad. Okay, thank you. Yep. That's good. All right. Yeah, I'm and on. I checked, I have your email on file, so you'll get it once it gets sent again. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.
All right. Dr. Ward, do you want to put me in a breakout room? I, I also would like, sorry, this is Maria and my son is starting this year. And I also have not received his uh, class schedule. So I'm not sure what classes he's enrolled in. Okay, do they, for the class schedule, do you have access, do they have their um, laptop and have access to PowerSchool? Uh, I have not received the instructions to get him on PowerSchool either. Okay, Mr. Russ, do they just log into PowerSchool using their username and password that they were given for their laptops? Yes. But he doesn't have a school laptop. Oh, he doesn't. He has a person, yeah, no. Okay, okay, well, we'll have to get you an appointment to pick one of those up. Okay. And that will be the first step for sure. Uh, okay. What's your scholar's name? Uh, Carlos Cody Ramos. He has two last names. Should be Cody. Ms. Drenning, I think you can yeah. join the breakout room. I haven't gotten an alert. Let's try it again. Um, you said Carlos Ramos? Uh, Cody, probably. Carlos Cody. Cody. He has two last names. Um, while you're helping her, so Parent Portal and Parent Square are two different things. Parent Portal is more to see grades, attendance, what assignments are missing, that kind of stuff. And then Parent Square is more of our two-way communication. So that's how the learning facilitators and the teachers and myself, and if there's any announcement, big school-wide announcements, you'll receive that on Parent Square. Does that make sense? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. I'm going to join um, the breakout room now. Uh-oh, I sent them all to the breakout room. Okay. Let me bring them back. <laughs> I got the invite too, but I didn't go. <laughs> yeah, I got the invite as well. Okay. You want me to go over there and let them, um, or yeah, you're just going to pull them back? Yeah, you can just, actually, you can go on over there. And go to, I'm going to just bring them back here and close those. Okay, do we have other questions? Kurt, do you have any questions? We're good. Okay. All right. Okay, Kurt. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good Bye. 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 Gracias. We'll see you next time. De nada. De nada. All right. And our new parent, do you have any questions before you go? Okay, yeah. she's gone. Dr. Ward, I did get that um, email from you before in the past about talking to Carlos Cody Ramos. Um, I couldn't find him in power school. And so I just saw him today and I was chatting with him. So mm -hmm. I wanted to connect him with Kurt, but I don't know if that had been done already. I don't think so. Dang. Okay. No, it's, it's okay. Cause I, I, he wasn't in power school and I was like, oh, I can't find him. But when I saw him on and then he texted back, so I let him know who I was. So he's open, but I just want to be able to connect him with Kurt. I'll do that. Um, should I talk to the front desk about his information in Power School? Because I looked at the last name, I looked at Cody, I looked under Carlos, and we only had Carlos Bustos and Carlos, a different one. Yeah, should be. Um, so um, if they can't get it to you, just just contact me again, and I'll I'll get you the contact info. Okay, okay, and then I just um, again made contact with Kurt and his family again. We were talking over the break, so he knows a little, but um, I just want to be able to connect them. I have to go, so. Um, mm -hmm. Have a great evening. You too. I'll All see right. You. Thanks a ton. See you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll keep going. We'll keep going. That's it.